Hello all, welcome to Selenium Python training series. In this session, as part of Selenium WebDriver, I am going to explain the different Greek sites that are required for handling the tables. So let's get started. For automating the tables, you should have some Greek side knowledge. That is, you should have at least known the HTML code that can be used for creating a table. So this HTML basics are already covered as part of this uh, Selenium Python training series in the beginning, as you can see here, HTML basics for Selenium is covered. And along with that, XPath expressions are also covered. Now here, the time has again come for us to revise a bit of HTML and bit of XPath expression, not entire thing, but you know, the HTML code that is required for creating a table is enough. And here also the XPath expressions for locating the tables is enough. You don't have to learn the entire XPath expressions, but I still recommend you guys to watch my previous session on HTML basics in this series and XPath expressions in this series, assuming that you already have some basic knowledge of HTML and knowledge of these XPath expressions, right? I'm continuing this session. Okay. So let me show you how to create a table in HTML. So for that, I'll open this uh, notepad plus plus. Okay. Or any notepad also you can take no problem here. I'll write some HTML code, uh, HTML and it will end with slash HTML for the table. I'm showing you how to create a table in HTML. Okay. Here, head section, slash head, and here I'll write down title. Uh, title of the page is, you know, uh, table, HTML table demo. I'll write like this, okay? This is the title I want to give for this uh, code. And here I'll write body, slash body. Inside this body tags, inside this body tags, I'll write down. I'll create a table, okay? Table tag we have tried, slash table. Table is starting here and table is ending here. Inside the table, we can divide this table into, again, head and body. T head, T head stands for table head. Here, slash T head. And uh, T body, the other part is T body, table body, slash T body, like this, two sections. Under the T head, under the T head, I'll create the first row containing the table headings. So TR slash tr and in this in this tr inside this tr tag there is a first row this is the first row which is nothing but the head section of the table that is the first row and here i'll write down uh, td instead of t td means table data but here headings are required i'll write th 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 or td i've right th i'll write because th stands for headings i'll say i'll just create one table i'll show you one table that i want to create an example table I'll just go to this application, omai.docsword.com application. And here we have a sample table. I want to create the same table. Here the headings are name, age, place, right? And let me create them. Name, slash, th. Uh, then th. Then age, slash, th. Uh, then place, th. Then place, slash, th. And coming to the t body, tr, slash, tr. Then the second row, this is, this is the second row, the second row, this is the third row, fourth row, fifth row. Okay. Copy this TRs. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. Four TRs. So here I'll write TD, slash TD, TD, slash TD, TD, slash TD. Okay, every row has three table data. You see, the second row has Kishore 22 Delhi. Let me write Kishore here. <coughs> Kishore slash td. 22 is age uh, and the place is Delhi. And here, second row uh, in the table body, the second row is this one Manish 25 Pune td. Manish slash td. td. 25. Slash td, td, then Pune, I'll give Pune here, slash td, and here, Ravin 29 Bangalore, td, slash td, td, slash td, td, slash td, Ravin 29 Bangalore, Ravin, 29, Bangalore, Deepthi, 31, Mumbai, TD, 
flash td td flash td td slash td and deep t thirty one Mumbai deep t thirty one Mumbai like this I'll create and uh, yeah this is what so we have successfully created a table now okay like this we have to create under the table we have t head and t body sections under the t head first row will be there tr tr stands for table row and ts stands for table headings okay three table headings in the first row and here we have four rows under the table body which is nothing but the which will contain the table data this first row table data is kishore 22 delhi and second row table data is manish 25 pune and third row table data is pravin 29 bangalore and the fourth row table data is deep 31 mumbai okay now save this file save as and I'll go to the downloads. Uh, I'll just create a folder here. Just I'm just going to downloads because it's kind of empty here. So you can go to any location in your machine. Okay. That's a sample. I'll go inside this folder and create this uh, HTML file. HTML table demo std dot HTML I'll give. The extension should be HTML. And here all types. Now save this. I've created successfully created the uh, table using HTML, right? I created a table for you, right? Now, after saving this, after saving this, go to the location where it got saved. That is in your downloads folder. At this location, I saved it. Uh, just open this HTML and see the table got created here. But this particular table doesn't have any border. You see, this table has a border, but this table doesn't have the border. Okay, but uh, you know, table headings are there, table data is there, everything is there, but the uh, border is not there. Simply come to this uh, HTML code and here in the table tag, give border is equal to one. Just give border is equal to one, that's it, okay? And double quotes also you can give border is equal to one. And now save this. Now refresh here, you'll get the table border, that's it. So this, this, this much of HTML knowledge is enough for creating a table, okay? This much of HTML knowledge of creating a table is enough for understanding how to automate the uh, tables, okay, later, okay? This is one of the prerequisite. If you know how to create this using HTML, if you know how to create the table like this, you are good to go with HTML. That much is enough for automating the tables. That much of HTML knowledge is enough for automating the tables. Next thing is XPath expressions. You should have good idea about the XPath expressions. If you still don't have the good idea about XPath expressions, I still recommend you to go and watch this detailed session on this XPath expressions, okay? So at least learn XPath expressions in detail. That's what I recommend, okay? And here, assuming that you already have some knowledge of X, uh, X, XPath, here, just I'm going to give you some examples of creating XPath expressions for tables, okay? So I'll take this table on this application. I'll take this uh, in omai.blogspot.com. There is a table, right? I'll use this table and I'll create the XPath expressions to locate a lot of things on this table, okay? So I would like to locate the Let's say I would like to locate the entire table first. Okay, I want to locate the entire table here. So how to locate this entire table? Right click inspect somewhere. So here I'll say, uh, here I'll write on the top, I'll write that part is missing. So I'll just write it out. Let me drag it down. Okay, locating the entire table, okay? Locating the entire table. How to locate this entire table? Select this option and you know, just select this entire table like this. You see, once the table is highlighted here, just select it. You see, the table got located. Table tag got located, with, which has an ID. This is how we can locate the entire table. How to create an XPath expression here? So uh, you can either use a Google Chrome Dev Tools or you, you can use a selector sub, whatever it is fine. But uh, let me use a Google. Uh, for visual purpose, I'll use the selector sub here. Okay, I'll just turn off these auto selections and all those stuff. Everything I'll turn off. So you can use selectors up, but uh, don't get dependent uh, dependent on this kind of uh, third party tools like selectors up and so on because they make it duplicated tomorrow. We don't know, okay? But uh, but uh, these days I can see that selectors up is evolving a lot. But uh, but earlier add-ons, okay? I'm just afraid of the earlier extensions that used to be there like Firebug, Firepath, okay? Then crow path came. A lot of things came in the market, but they got uh, duplicated. So these tools may or may not be there for you. But uh, at this moment in the current trend side, selectors have is kind of very good and uh, it feels like it's going to continue for a long time. Okay. So, but anyhow, don't uh, depend on the tools. Rather, if selectors hub is not there, I still recommend you to use control F and then, you know, write the XPath expressions here and see whether they are getting located or not. But uh, 
just uh, assuming that uh, if you want to save the time, since the selector sub is already there in the market and you, you want to uh, save the time, right? Uh, I, I recommend you to use selectors for a while, but uh, don't depend on the tools, okay? You should be able to do this work without the help of selectors to the hub also. But if you want to save time, then only go for selectors, sub, okay? So since I want to save time, I'm going to selectors sub in this session, but tomorrow the selectors sub may not be available, okay? So if you are watching this uh, video when selector sub is may or may not be available, then you if it is not available, use the Google Chrome Dev Tools here. Okay, that I told you. Fine. Anyhow, for now selector sub is available when I'm recording this session, I'm going to use this without any problem. So here table tag is there. So I'll say double slash table. I'll say double slash table square bracket at the rate ID is equal to what is that? Table one. The single quotes give table one. And you see, press enter. You see, one element is getting located. That's nothing but the entire table. You see, the dilation. This is done by selector sub. Okay. This XPath expression is able to locate this table. Hope you are able to see the XPath expressions properly now. Okay. This XPath expression is locating this table. Similarly, let's, uh, you know, let's do a lot of stuff here. That is a uh, next item. So I'm giving some examples. I'm showing you practically how to create XPath expressions for locating tables and uh, table stuff. Okay. Now let's locate the table heading. Only the heading I want to locate, okay? As you already know here, when I when I inspected this table, right? When I inspected this table, where is the table? This is the table. When I inspected this particular table, this table in this particular table is divided into two parts. One is table heading and table body. And this table head and table body tags are optional, guys, okay? You'll, in all the tables, you'll not find T head and T body, but here in this case, we find this T head is there. So what I'll do here is uh, under the table, we have the T head. So I'll simply say, single forward slash followed by T head and press enter. The table heading is getting located. Okay. Now, uh, this is how we can locate the table heading. Now let's locate the table body. For locating the table body, I have to say slash T body and press enter. The table body is getting located. Then locating table headings, locating the table headings. How to locate the table headings? Here, I have to write slash T head slash tr under that we have the th press enter you see all the three table headings you see count is coming as three name table heading age table heading and place table heading locating the table headings there's one more shortcut way instead of writing like this right right uh, instead of writing uh, this lengthy x path expression here after this uh, double slash table at the right id is called table one give double forward slash and give th this also will locate the same thing okay you don't have to uh, start from table and come to th rather directly from table you can jump to th in this xpath expression and still it will locate the three elements three table headings you see one two three table headings got getting located that is name age and place name age and place as you can see on the ui fine now next one is locating the table data i want to locate the table data the table data is under the table body right so i'll have to write uh, first i have to locate the table double slash table at the rate id is equal to id is equal to table one and under that i have to go to t body under the t body i have this uh, tr tags okay tr under the tr we have the td slash tr this is one tr this is another tr 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 just give tr and slash td you give and press enter you see how many elements are matching 12 elements so complete table data that is 12 kishore 22 delhi you see 12 elements kishore is one element 22 is one all these are table data only are getting located Fine, locating the table data in the first row. Now I want to locate the table data that is only in the first row, this, this table data. The so Kishore 22 Delhi, I want to locate. How to do that? Here I have to give uh, TR of one, okay? Under T body, TR one. Under the T body, guys, okay? I'm giving under the T body, I'm giving TR one, press enter, you see? The first row under the T body, that is Kishore 22 Delhi is getting located. So complete table data, uh, locating the table data in the first row. The uh, table data is Kishore 22 Delhi in the first row that got located. Okay, I have to give two. If I have to locate the table data in second row here, in TR, instead of TR1, you have to give TR2. Manish 25 Pune. Then locate the, like that. If you want to locate the third row, table data in third row, TR3 of uh, TD and four. Okay, like this. Locating the second column data in the third row. Okay. So third row means TR3. This one, Praveen 29 Bangalore is the row. And in that second column, here if I give TD1, that will give you the first column, Praveen. Okay. 
third row, first column, Praveen is coming. If I give two here, this is for row, this is for column. TT2 means it will give 29. You say 29. If I give TT3, that will give Bangalore. Like this, okay? Let's give TT2 for this example because locating the second column data in third row. In third row, second column data is 29. We located. Now locating all the column data of third column. We have to locate all the data in the third column. That is Delhi, Pune, Bangalore, Mumbai should be selected. Okay, how to do that? So you see Delhi belong to the first row. Pune belong to second row, Bangalore, third row, Mumbai, fourth row. I want all these four items. There's no particular row. So I have to remove this tier of option here. Only tier I have to put because it's not specific to the row, right? All rows are coming here. So tier and in that, which column, any, any row, any row in this table body, but which column? Third column. Give TR of three and press enter. You see, third column data is getting located. Four elements. First, Delhi, Pune, Bangalore, Mumbai got located. So if you're good with this kind of path expressions, uh, the way I showed you, then you can easily automate the tables, guys, okay? But if you're not good with uh, this HTML code for creating the table, or if you're not good with uh, this path expressions to be created for uh locating the table or table stuff right then you cannot automate the table automate the table is all about having this knowledge if you are good with this knowledge or good with, good with this uh, predict sites then you can do that automation in a simple manner so that's all for this session in the next session i'll start uh showing you different ways for automating the table a lot of stuff i'm going to show you for automating the table from the next session onwards so see you in the next session thank you bye bye